Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. In this session, we are going to solve the problem of long shoe drum break. The question is, if the permissible value of P max equals to 0.7 MPa, find the corresponding actuating force and the friction power that the break will absorb. Take F equals to 0.25 and W equals to 6.25 cm. This is the long shoe drum brake because the angle of contact is 90 degrees, which is greater than 45 degrees. First and foremost, list down all the information given in the question. Here we have maximum pressure, coefficient of friction, width of the shoe, rotational speed, angle of contact between shoe and drum, and radius of drum. Next, we found out the C, theta 1, and theta 2. So we take out this triangle. In here, we have the hypotenuse is C. The height is 15 centimeters, and the length is 22.5 centimeters. And the angles, we have theta 1, and half of the contact angle, which is 45 degrees. Then we calculate the C, and we get the C is 27 centimeters. We use the trigonometry concept to find the theta 1, and we get 11.3 degrees. Theta 2 is calculated by total up the theta 1 and the contact angle. And we get theta 2 equals to 101.3 degrees. Since theta 2 101.3 degrees, it is greater than 90 degrees. Hence, sine theta m equals to 1. We recall back all the information that we have just now. We substitute the values into the formula of moment of normal force. And we get Mn equals to 6891.5 newton meters. And we substitute the values into the formula of moment of friction force. And we get Mf equal to 403.9 newton meters. Since we have Mf is less than Mn, so the brake is not a self locking brake. After that, we have to determine whether the brake is self-energizing or self-de-energizing brake because we want to know which formula of Fe that we are going to use to calculate the actuating force. Here we have the moment of actuating force rotates clockwise and the moment of friction force also rotates in clockwise rotation. So we can conclude that the brake is self-energizing brake because the moment of actuating force and the moment of friction force rotate in the same direction. Hence, we can use Mn minus Mf in the formula of Fa. So we can determine the value of actuating force, which is 13 kN. Next, to find the friction power, first we calculate the friction torque by using the shown formula. We use the formula of power to determine the friction power. We convert the rotational speed into omega. After substitute the values, we get the value of friction power is 20.65 kilowatts. That's all for this session. Thank you.